Hello my beautiful Scorpio, welcome to your love reading for early September 2024. I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get a video done. I've been out of action with a really, really bad flu. Um, but here I am, ready to do your reading. I have done a bit of a pre-shuffle. I mean, we've got two cards so far. And what I'm seeing in your love life is a lot of fear. We have pushed through any insecurity and let your fears dissolve. So what this is telling me, I'm getting the feeling that <clears throat> you're dealing with a situation where there's a lot of uncertainty. You don't know where you stand with this person. You don't know what to do to kind of solidify the connection. I feel like that's where the fears are coming from. Um, and also, Scorpio, you're in your comfort zone when, he, when you can kind of get into somebody's head. When you know what they're thinking, and I feel like you don't know what this person is thinking, okay? So I feel like that's why you're insecure right now. You're fearing the worst, and this might be causing you to sabotage the connection because you're triggered. So um, you might kind of reach for the worst possible case scenario, and then you might accuse this person of something that they didn't do. So that's what I'm concerned about. Um, just be aware of that. Um, let's have a look. What is this uncertainty? Show me what's going on for Scorpio in love in early September 2024. Or this could just be happening now or in the recent past. Angels and Spirit, please show me what's going on. What is this uncertainty for Scorpio in love heading into September 2024? Just bear with me, um, just still channeling your energy. We've got delayed communication. Maybe this person is slow to respond. Um, I'm also getting possible distance between you and this person. And you don't know how to nurture the relationship going on for Scorpio in love? I feel like some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Lots of wand energy here, fire energy. Angels and spirit, please show me what's going on for Scorpio in love in September 2024. What's going on? I'm getting mixed messages with the two of pentacles in the reverse. And, you know, one moment you're like, oh, I'm overthinking things, I just need to chill. Then the next minute you're like fearing the worst again. So I'm getting a lot of swinging back and forth from two extremes. Um, you might feel like this person is avoiding you. Um, with this seven of swords, this can be avoidance. I've got Sagittarius energy here with the temperance card. I'm getting a possible lack of effort or someone has withdrawn their their time and effort. Um, with this page of wands in the reverse, this can be they're distracted, they're not focusing on, you know, trying to build on a, a solid foundation here. Let's have a look. Show me the other person's energy. I'm getting resistance with the seven of wands. This person might be taking a step back and keeping you at arm's length. Angels and Spirit, please show me. Definitely fire energy coming through strong. Show me the other person. Show me the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Show me their intentions and feelings towards Scorpio. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This can be feeling numb or feeling blocked from their emotions. Ace of Cups in the reverse can be emotional unavailability as well. Show me what is this Ace of Cups in the reverse for Scorpio's person of interest. Show me this Ace of Cups in the reverse. got the knight of pentacles it's like this person's waiting on something 
Um, there could be fear on this person's side as well. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting caution and hesitancy from this person. If you see the Seven of Wands, which is a card about resistance and standing one's ground, alongside the Knight of Pentacles, there's caution here, okay? Why is this person cautious? Show me, please, the other person's energy. Okay, I'm getting this person feels a little bit powerless with the strength card. Um, they're afraid of walking away empty handed here. I feel like this person is feeling vulnerable. Angels and Spirit, please show me why. Show me more about this other person's energy. Show me about this other person. Yeah, okay, two of pentacles. They're, they're waiting on a decision. They're waiting on something to come into balance. Four of swords and the hermit. This person has gone within. They're, they're doing a lot of overthinking. Um, this is rest. This is recuperation. Um, this is healing and recovery energy. I feel like this person doesn't want to invest if this isn't going to bear fruit okay so i feel like this person's waiting for a sign or waiting for a decision before proceeding here um they don't want to compete they don't want to be in the running they want, don't want to compete or you know put their heart on the line if if this is a hopeless situation nine of wands in the reverse so the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is the Law of Diminished Return. Next to the Seven of Pentacles, this person is waiting to see if this situation is worth investing in, okay? Yeah, they're afraid that if they get attached with the Devil card, they're going to end up disappointed um, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse position. So they're doing a lot of overthinking. Yeah, there's a lot of fears here with the Eight of Swords. They, they're not sure what to do or what to say, um, there could be distance between the two of you, okay, um, I feel like they might say to you, um, they might come clean about their fears because we've got the seven of swords in the reverse which is, you know, that confession energy next to the five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. They do have romantic feelings towards you, but for some reason, the two of you are not together. Now, this could be because of distance or you haven't actually had that conversation yet about intentions. Um, but there's the romantic feelings towards you. They're afraid that you're going to leave them. So that's what I'm getting from the Five of Cups. They're afraid that this is going to turn into a missed opportunity is the strong feeling I'm getting here. Let's see what they would say to you. Actually, before we do that, let's have a look at your energy. I mean, so we've established that there's fear on both sides, okay? Show me Scorpio's energy in this connection, heading into September 2024. What is Scorpio's energy? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like you don't know how to work on this. You don't know how to fix this. What is Scorpio's energy, please, Spirit? What is Scorpio's energy? Two of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you're not sure which step to take either. So the two of you are kind of stuck in indecision or stuck in like limbo is what I'm getting. There's no clear way forward. Um, and you don't know what this person is thinking. It's like there's an elephant in the room that's not being addressed. That's what I'm getting. Look at this card. You can see how there's... Now, that looks like a Sagittarius, a half man, half horse in the in the background here. Um, in the cave, it looks like um, there's an elephant in the room that isn't being addressed. Show me Scorpio's energy, please, Spirit. Show me Scorpio's energy when it comes to this connection.
Queen of Wands in the reverse. That's insecurities, right? If the Queen of Wands in the upright position talks about confidence and someone who is standing in their power, I feel like you're insecure right now. Yeah, it definitely could be distance. I keep seeing the world. Show me please. Now, if it's not distance, you could be affected by um, outside influences is what I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> so there's an element of there's things that are beyond your control and that's why you're feeling fearful and insecure in this connection. There's something that you don't know and that's further causing you anxiety. There's something that you feel like this person could be holding back from you. Um, let's see, what could this person be holding back? What could this person be holding back from Scorpio, please? What could this person be holding back? Seven of Pentacles. They're holding back their thought process, you know? Um, they're, they're holding back that they're on the fence and the reasons why they're on the fence. Um, show you more what, what this person is holding back from. Yeah, they're holding back the reasons why um, they can't take this relationship forward. They're holding back the reasons why this connection is kind of stuck, all right? Show me what this person is holding back from Scorpio. The tower, yeah, in the reverse. This is about what's going on for them internally. Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is withholding the truth and withholding communication. Um, I don't feel like this person is deceitful. I just feel like there's something that they're not telling you, okay? So let's see what they would say if they could be 100% honest. There could be people around them trying to influence this person, but they're saying, I don't care what people say anymore. I'm ready to fight for our relationship. So I feel like this person doesn't want any interference. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? Yeah, that he, they're saying, I want to work things out with you. I know we're two very different people, but with effort, we can complement each other. So they want to overcome the obstacles between you. Yeah, but they are in a bit of a fragile state of mind. You know how they were coming out with Hermit Energy and the Four of Swords? They're very much overthinking. So they're kind of delicate right now, okay? So I feel like they need some space. And doesn't Spirit please show me what they would say to Scorpio? Show me what they would say to Scorpio. If they could be 100% honest, what would they say to Scorpio? Yep, blocked by fears. True intimacy is putting me at risk of getting hurt. This person is afraid of getting hurt. Show me what they want to say to Scorpio. Yeah, they know that big changes are going to be necessary if they're to be with you. They're saying, I'm ready to embrace the changes that will take place if I date you. So there's a lot at stake here for this person. So I feel like they could have retreated for a bit, leaving you feeling a little bit insecure. Show me what do they want to say to Scorpio. They're coming back. Um, they, they don't want you to see them as a coward, um, but this is very much outside of their comfort zone, okay? Show me please, Spirit. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? They don't know what you're prepared to do to make this work. So they're kind of waiting for signs from you. That's why I'm getting this card here. It's going to require that you fight for my love and affection. You're not used to doing that in such um, circumstances, Scorpio, because I feel like this connection is very, what's the word? Maybe it's really new. Maybe yeah, you really don't know what this person's thinking. So you're not really one to kind of put your heart out on the line um, under such circumstances. Hence, you're feeling insecure. Um, but also you might be thinking this person gets a lot of attention. They could be, you know, um, very well known in their industry they could be very good looking I, I feel like this person does get a lot of attention 
So you're scared that, you know, there could be other people this person is entertaining. So I feel like you're, you're torn between do I give this person some space to figure out what it is that they want? Do I do some grand gesture to kind of demonstrate that I, you know, I'm serious? You're really conflicted. So I feel like this person is saying, let's take a break and figure out what we truly want for ourselves. It's okay to give this some breathing room. Um, let's see what your advice is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'm gonna use this deck as well, which is not one that I normally use, but it's calling out to me, so. All right, we've got Kai and I, where, um, where I cut the deck. I, it's a blue crystal. I feel like it's saying communication is what's needed. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is the guidance for Scorpio in love? What's the guidance in, uh, for Scorpio hematite? Okay, let's have a look. All right, there's a need for balance and calm. Yeah, so get out of your head. It says you're much more you're much more than your thoughts and feelings. You have a body to care for and a soul with a unique purpose. It's also saying love is a verb expressed through loving actions. So you're being called to take loving action today towards someone who maybe you've been taking for granted or maybe you've um you're coming across as a little bit cold. Uh, the card is saying it's much too easy to forget people's wonderful qualities and all that they give us for our brains are designed to pay more attention to problems and dangers. Yes. So you might be giving this person the message that you're not all that interested. Um, so you need to make a point of expressing love and appreciation. It says from making love to your romantic partner to offering a thank you or doing something special. Um, that says, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that you're in my life. Relationships are the foundation that supports you in turbulent times. So nourish them today. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm getting the feeling that if you're at a distance from this person, you're being forced to kind of demonstrate your affection for them in ways that you're not used to. So for example, as a Scorpio, you're probably very physical. You know, one of your love languages is probably physical affection um, because we're very passionate people. But if this person is at a distance from you, um, maybe you need to scrub up on some of your other love languages, like gift giving, or doing something thoughtful, right? Um, and Scorpios, you're not known for being, you know, all of all that kind of assertive when it comes to your love life. You, you, you're very... Um, you can be a little bit closed off, particularly in the initial stages. So um, maybe you need to work on, you know, um, words of affirmation. I don't know. But the good thing is Kyanite is here and it's talking about resolving disputes and restoring harmony, building bridges. Okay, so it's saying you're being called to be the bigger person. Um seeking to connect on a level of mutual understanding. There's a reason you wanted to connect with this person and now you have the power to do so in a healthy way that honors you and them. They will learn from your modeling of diplomacy and you might be surprised by how much more readily your wisdom is heard when you reach out in love. Okay, so it's talking about um, reaching a balance and freeing yourself from the conflict. Okay, let's see what you need to let go of. Angels and Spirit, please show me what does Scorpio need to release? What does Scorpio need to release when it comes to love? You know how I said, you know, it's okay to give this person some breathing room. You've got surrender to silence. Um, I know this sounds like it's contradicting itself because in, in one moment I'm telling you to, to, to show your love, to demonstrate your love because love is a verb. 
but know when this person might need to kind of go within and retreat and know when to kind of, you know, make the move, right? Look, surrender fear. No surprises here. This card says, let go of fearful stories that you're telling yourself, stay in the present moment, focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. You've got surrender frustration. I feel like there are certain circumstances that you have no control over and you feel like it's blocking the connection or it's blocking progress. Um, remember that frustration doesn't open any doors, okay? The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to just take a breath, centre yourself and regroup so that you can approach the situation more calmly. Um, I feel like you, you could be in flight or fight or flight mode. Um, you also have surrender to prayer. So um, you might want to give this over to the divine because you're feeling, you know, out of your comfort zone, out of control here. Okay, so let me know if this resonated with you, Scorpio. I hope that this was helpful and I look forward to your next video. Bye, Scorpio.